What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Bandor, and welcome back, everyone, to another week inside the Metaverse Champions Roblox events. Right now is the official release of week three, so we have a bunch of games to check out. But if you're here in this video, then you guys know the drill. Today, I'm going to show you guys the fastest and easiest badges to get inside week three of the Metaverse Champions, which means we will get, by the end of this video, one crate for each champion, and that's really all you can do. So let's go on ahead. If you guys are excited, drop that like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the notification bell on your way out. And don't forget to use star code TWISTED like this guy is saying with two eyes whenever you're buying Robux or Premium. Now, let's start off with AJ Striker's easiest and fastest game to get the item, which will be Rage Table Arena. Welcome to Rage Table Arena. And in this game, you have to get 10 knockouts by smacking people off the edge with your table. So watch. That guy just got smacked off, and that was a kill for him. But now I'm going to smack him off, and it's... Oh, he dodged that. Don't worry. I got another table where that came from. And there he goes! Knocked him out for... Wait, I got two knockouts? I don't really know how I did that. Watch out, guys. You might get smacked off yourself, but all you got to do is really do the smacking first before anyone else does it. Oh, my gosh. I can't get up. And knock someone out randomly. I don't really know how. Oh, and I got knocked out. What's up, JoJo? You know, don't mind if I do this one, right? There you go. Okay, honestly, guys, this game is a lot easier if you find a server with a lot of AFK people, but this is the easiest one around. You can just walk up to people who are using their moves and then just use moves against them while they're just lurking. Now do it a couple more times and victory will be yours. And don't worry, guys, if you spawn a new map, your knockouts will carry over. One thing that I will say, though, is make sure not to leave the server because if you leave the server, you're going to have to do this all over again. Also, jumping will help you out so you that you don't get smacked by a bunch of these things. Oh. I mean, I dodged a few. You can't dodge them all. Look at that. Dodge that one, and then I'm going to throw that one at him. Ninja boy, come on. Get out of here, dude. What's up, LX6? CLA. What? How did you survive that? I got another one. I got a hamburger. Get out of here. Adios, amigo. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, once you get 10 knockouts, the week three badge for AJ Striker is yours. This one, honestly, is a lot of fun. So even if it does take a little bit of time, it shouldn't be too much of a drag. But after we're done that, let's move on to the next game. Welcome to Break In, the best location for week three's Feyoshita crate. All you gotta do is just as Faye says, to join around a break in by entering a truck, talking to Faye outside the house, and spray painting five pieces of art onto the main house. Super duper easy, super duper quick. Also, by the way, guys, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult when you first join the lobby. Just get into that truck as soon as possible and wait for the story to start. As soon as you spawn in the story, go ahead, write to Faye, click on her, and now she'll say, Graffiti five pieces of art onto the main house. It's time for a makeover. So this is really, really easy, guys. You don't have to pick the color. Just go like this, spray on it, then shake, spray, spam, shake, spray, spam, shake, Spray, spam shake, spray, and then spam one more time, and there you go. That's one of them done. You see how quick that was? Super quick, super easy. You just got to do that four more times around the house. Let me do it slower, guys. So first, you got to spam to shake the can. Then you kind of fill inside the little area here. You can go slow, or you can just go as fast as I did earlier. You press to shake the can. You know, that's really slow. And then you add a gradient color. You could, guys, choose the colors that you want. I mean, this one does not really give you that many options. We can do blue. We can do green. We can do a bunch of different colors. But if you guys are just getting the event, it doesn't honestly matter. Just spam the button. Color in the blob. Shake. Color in another thing. And there you go. Let's do another one. Boom. Come on. There we are. Shake the can, another gradient, shake the can, the drop shadow, shake the can, and then stroke, shake the can, and then the blocks, and then shake the can, and for like, what is this, Among Us? What? No, that's a face, never mind. And just keep shaking that can. Wait, we gotta find another one. Where is it? Three out of five completed, so the other two must be in the backyard, or well, just one of them so far. Okay, this one says, Faye rules. Eventually, when you color in enough, it just loads up the full thing. Hello? There we go. Shake. And then load, and then shake, and then color, and shake, and then color, and then shake, and color, shake, and... Oh, we don't have to do anything else. Okay, that one was a little easier than the rest of them. Oh, and Metaverse right here. There we go, and this is the final one, guys. See how easy that was? Took like two seconds to do. It's not going to take any effort. And you'll be able to do this, guys, before the main story actually even starts, which is ideal because then you don't have to go through any more cutscenes. So let's shake this can one more time. And actually, 
probably two more times. No, nope, there we go. Five out of five completed. And we did it just in time to get the Faye Items Week 3 Award. Guys, don't worry if you're not as fast as me when I did this, because as you can see here, even after the cutscene and the pizza guy delivers, you can still go back outside and grab your spray can and spray more things on the walls. But with that, we can move on to the next game. Welcome to Bigfoot. And in this game, we're getting Sparks Kilowatts' Week 3 Crate. To do so, you're going to have to deal 300 damage to Bigfoot. So click that play button and hope that you are the hunter. As soon as you spawn in, wait around for the Bigfoot to come because he's going to try to kill you. And so what you're going to do when that happens is go ahead and deal at least 300 damage. And the good news is that even if you only deal like 100 damage one round, you still can do them in other rounds. Don't you guys worry. It's extremely easy as long as you have the Bigfoot coming to you and he's not just AFK, which I think he might be. Oh, never mind. He's right here. Shoot him. Shoot him. He's going to be moving around. Look at him. Look at this little Bigfoot guy. Oh, we're already at 33% of the damage. Keep shooting. We're going to keep shooting. Oh, oh, I didn't know he could climb. I didn't know he could climb. Oh my goodness. Watch out for that. You're trying to get me? You're trying to get me, buddy? Oh, where are you going? You're running away? Oh, you're a little scared. Come back over here. I only got 86%. I want that 100. No. As you guys can see at the top right, I only got 91.67%. Can't believe it. I got so close, but it's okay because now I can just wait around for the next round in about 30 seconds. And it should be good. I do believe you can get the crate being Bigfoot as well by killing five hunters before they kill you. But I think it's much, much easier to wait around being a hunter. And it'll take you one, two rounds, max three, before you get that 300 damage dealt. Hey, Bigfoot! Hey, what's up, my dude? Yeah, just let me shoot you a couple times. No big deal. And boom! There we have it, guys. As you can see, I'm at 100% and we got ourselves the week three badge. With that, it doesn't matter if we die or not because we should be good. But I'm gonna eliminate the Bigfoot anyways because, uh, well, I don't like Bigfoots, huh? I only like Smallfoots, so get on out of here. And with that, we can move on to the fourth and final game, which is honestly the easiest one in this entire week. Welcome, everyone, to Limited Simulator 2. And in this game, we are getting Ren Brightblade's Week 3 crates. To do so, you got to click on the Play Metaverse event. Not normal play, Play Metaverse event. It's in all caps. And yes, sometimes it'll say fail to connect the server, but you'll get there. It'll work. What you're supposed to do here originally is a series of quests by Mr. Chad. You can talk to him and he says he wants pieces of his puzzle back for his helmet like there's that one there and there's one up there that would be a long process and i know what you're thinking wait i thought this was the quickest one around this was supposed to be the fastest one in all of week three and and it is guys you don't have to do any of that you literally at the top right guys look at this skip quest click that one and well skip the quest because after that you get yourself the metaverse champions ren chest award and that ladies and gentlemen isn't what i'm talking about and there you have it guys four new crates for week three in the metaverse champions event enjoy it hope this video helped you guys out if it did be sure to drop that like down below subscribe if you're new to the channel hit the notification bell on your way out and don't forget to use star code twisted with two eyes whenever you're buying robux or premium good luck on your badge hunting and i'll see you guys for week four for more crates and for right now this is twisted pandora signing off and as always don't forget to stay snazzy